previously on Sailing Aquarius. Wow! So beautiful! We came back after a whole week of exploring Jordan, back to Ayla Marina. Right next to Aquarius. Days were beautiful here, but on Gulf of Suez, winds were still very strong and would be against us all the way to the canal, which we knew already is not an easy sail. Actually, it will be motoring all the way. Therefore, we decided to enjoy what Ayla Marina and this complex had to offer. Beautiful beach where we even got together with friends that we met on a road trip. <laughs> and got to challenge ourselves in new ways. Good job, babe. Let's go. You did really well. One, two. Meanwhile, Ken also got to test his golf skills with a pro. So I think you've played this course before. Uh, a few times. I hate you. If I can just make it on the fairway, I'm good. I don't even care where it's on the fairway. Oh, that's gonna make it. That will get there. What a shot. That is perfectly safe over there. Yes. Oh, that might work. The course we're playing today is obviously Isla Golf Club, uh, designed by Greg Norman. And personally, it's one of my favorites because it's a very fair design. Good shot. How close is it? Not bad. That far. <laughs> nice bird. <laughs> Almost missed. <laughs> Thanks for the game. I'm going to put this one in for about a thousand. Give it another go. Another beautiful day in December and today we're going Aquarius in the background with Captain Ken looking sharp. We are going on diversity.
We were having a lot of fun, but days were going by and the weather was not changing, nor here, nor in Gulf of Suez. Therefore, we decided to do another quick trip. So where are you going? We're going to go to Israel. You can see Israel right in front of us. It's about 45 minutes by car to the border and then about four hours by bus to Tel Aviv, where we stayed in a nice hotel by the beach. Tel Aviv is ranked third most expensive city in the world, so no, we did not get the big room. This is awesome! So many cool outdoor spaces, just lovely. There's beach after beach after beach. Very cool, beautiful sand. Captain Cam, yeah. would you like to bring Aquarius here? I wouldn't mind it, but it's way too expensive. So this been a known place for long years. I bet this kid's grandchildren are right now this age. So cool. I must admit, from outside, it looks like 30 times bigger, but it is pretty cool. Right next to the Yacht Club. The beaches are beautiful, but not only them. The city is pretty amazing too. There is so much to see and also the nightlife is awesome. Especially since we get to go out and meet our YouTube followers. Yay! Next day, we decided to go to Jerusalem and public transportation is perfect. It has no problem at all. We could choose train or bus to go there. And this time we decided to go by bus straight to Jerusalem. Jerusalem, one of the oldest cities in the world and is considered to be a holy city for three major Abrahamic religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam.
almost no other city the religion is as present as in Jerusalem. Both Israelis and Palestinians claim Jerusalem as their capital, and the status of Jerusalem remains one of the core issues in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. But this channel is not about politics, therefore we won't discuss this. Throughout its long history, Jerusalem has been destroyed at least twice, besieged, captured, and recaptured, and attacked countless times. Old City is divided into four quarters, known since the early 19th century as the Armenian, Christian, Jewish, and Muslim quarters. For Christians, this place is a church of the Holy Sepulchre. For Jews, it is a wailing wall, and for Islamic, Dome of the Rock and al Qasim. That is so interesting. The streets are in three languages. So this is all art. It's just a mosaic. We finished exploring Jerusalem and took the train back to Tel Aviv. Last day enjoying of Tel Aviv beaches. We will be heading back to Aquarius, huh? Yep, getting ready to go through the Red Sea. I mean, uh, what is it, the Gulf of Suez. And through Suez Canal. And as soon as we get to Aquarius, we prepare for a Suez Canal passage. But before, we have to sail through Gulf of Aqaba and Gulf of Suez. Another thing you should worry about is when you store in your oil, put it in another 
another uh, container because if any of the oil leaks, which I had a big leak, all of this would be all over inside here and I have to pull everything out, clean everything. But now I only have to clean this. So we're just gonna suck the oil out of that, clean everything up and uh, it'll be a lot less mess than if we didn't have the oil in something like this. So here's Aquarius. And look where we are. We are in the glass bottom boat. Captain. So you've been the neighbor, huh? <laughs> Good, sorry, I'm filming. All this time, while we were in Ala Marina, we were docked next to glass bottom boat. And over time, we made friends with a captain. And he kept inviting us to join us. And finally, last day before leaving Jordan, we were able to join. You're looking very serious. Yeah, because this thing And here is the same sunken plane that Ken dove a couple days ago. That was so lovely. And our stay in Jordan is over. We are leaving tomorrow towards Suez Canal. Jordan. We had such a good time here and Israel. I had a great time. The whole trip was just awesome here. I love Jordan. <laughs> Have you been drinking? Drinking and driving. No, we just hit that boat wave. That was his wake. So we've been sailing for four and a half hours. Now it's 6.14 p.m. and we did 26.6 nautical miles. And uh, as you can see, we all buckled up. It's the first time we have our back covers down because the wind is right from behind and it was cold. Well, at least the sun's coming up now. And we got a reef right over here. Which is a pretty big reef. You can see the dive boats on it too. Oh, they are diving? Yeah, those are dive boats. After leaving Jordan, this time we were lucky to have the wind behind us. We sailed 152 nautical miles in nearly 27 hours and had to stop, as the headwind was getting about 35 knots and waves were pushing us even more. Luckily, forecast showed some relief in a couple of hours and there was an anchorage right next to us. Next on Sailing Aquarius. Are you about to pass out? If you like this video, give us a like down below and click here to subscribe. That really helps us. And if you want to watch more of us, click one of those.